Hey, how is it going? My name is Rogers and today we shall be speaking about a form validation. So what I need you to understand is uh, there are two kinds of form validation whereby we have server side validation and client side validation. When you see this page, okay, this is a login form that I designed using Bootstrap. So when I click here, you see we have this uh, input written like uh, this uh, pop-up. It is uh, insisting like Please fill out this third. So it means when we, we 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 cannot send anything to the database or login or register user without filling anything here. And what you can you can recognize is uh, this. Please fill out uh, third. Is it is a, a built-in tags for HTML. So when I, I go back to my source code, you see here. Yeah, I have a. Uh, a required statement. Do you see this required statement? It is the one affecting this page and allowing user to, to not submitting data unless they fill out all of this field. So what is happening is even on hovering, you see, it is, it is giving us the hovering text words like, please fill out this form. But what I, we're insisting today is, uh, we should use server side validation, which is most efficient and secure than client side validation, as you see this of using HTML tag, which is required tag. Okay. So I'm just going to demonstrate on how you can send data to the database or you can log in into the user whenever you create to any website then you see this kind of of pop-up which allow which is not allowing you to, to to log in or just to register because you did not fill out anything so when you right click this page or this form you inspect it do you see here you're only clicking inspection you will see at the right corner the form which is the same as our source code you see so but by now we're interacting with the form using a browser so here so when i you, you, I just we see here. You can see I, I'm able to 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 edit this page as HTML. Do you see? So when I you edit this page as a HTML, and you can delete this required statement, okay, to all import tags, or import forms tag, okay. Do you see? So I'm just going to remove all of this required statement. So after removing everything, it's like. On clicking register, you will, we shall be able to send all information to the database if it is connected without filling out anything. So this is usually mostly when you need to, to, to send some data to the database, but there are some things you don't need to include if the, 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 the method of validation is a server side validation as, as, as you saw here. So, uh, what you are going to do is we are going to remove this required statement. Okay, I think we made a mistake here. We just duplicated the files. Okay, I'm just going to remove this one. And this one, let us edit it and remove this required. Okay, required. So I just removed all required uh, tags from this form using inspection from Chrome. That's what I'm using, but it depends with all, it is, it is happening with all browsers so on clicking this submission you will see we are able to to go to another page which is action.php though we don't have this page of action.php so it's like when we, we use this required field from html tag we are able to skip them or to bypass them using inspection from the 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 the, the, the using inspection from the browser okay so what i insist like if you're a developer or designing websites for yourself for agents or for a customer just to try to use server-side validation are more efficient secure and safe but for using html tag someone is able to to send the data without filling some some inputs because of skipping this using html uh required statement which is deleted from the database no 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 from the browser using uh inspection process okay so if we need to design a most secure and go to website or, or a login inputs or any kind of form just try to use server side uh, validation i'm just using php i don't know what you will use so i really thank you very much for today let's meet into another tutorial i think next time we shall be having a crash course about html thank you very much let's meet into another session life is good